All right, guys. Uh, this is um, another video from Gran Torino coming at you. Uh, I haven't posted in a while because honestly, I haven't really had anything to say. I didn't, didn't have anything I felt was worthwhile to say. But with recent events going on in Ferguson, I know everybody's put in their their two cents about it. And I know you're probably already thinking you know what I'm going to say. Uh, but I have to ask this question, and I, I hope someone responds with some authority who can tell me, uh, here's, here's why this has happened. Now, I know the story, apparently, is that young Michael Brown walked into a convenience store, stole $50 worth of cigars, and therefore committing a felony or uh, larceny and was accosted by a policeman they got into a scuffle the why he decided to scuffle with a policeman I don't know but apparently they got into a scuffle uh, I heard it told me that he reached for the cop's gun and tried to get the gun out of the cop's belt I assume to shoot him when he failed to do that, he took off running for a short distance and then decided to throw his hands up to surrender, at which point the cop emptied the magazine. Now, there's dumbassery on both sides of the coin here. Number one, that cop should have just tased his ass as soon as he began giving him trouble. He's got a young man here. The young man robbed the store. We know that. We saw it on the film. We saw the security tape. From the, from the store, you've got your suspect, tase him, tase him, cuff him, hit him in the car, you're done. Why he didn't do that, I cannot imagine. Why this young kid felt it was a good idea to start running his fucking mouth to someone with a gun, telling him how he's not going to do shit. Telling him how he's, I don't know what all what all was said, but from what I've heard, it was pretty, ex, yeah, ex, yeah, there were a lot of expletives flying around and a lot of, uh, a lot of shit being talked, so, I don't know why, what made him decide to start doing that, that he could not have possibly thought that that would end well for him, I don't know if he thought the cop was going to say, oh, you're right, you know, okay, now you got me, go ahead. Did he really think that was going to be the case? He had to have known when he started running his mouth like that that something was going to happen. So, trying to grab the cop's gun, I mean, how do you, how do you, what makes you think that's a good idea? How does that enter your head that things are going to end well for you when you do that? There's no way. You, you stole some shit from the store. You got caught. The cop is there to take you in. Just go in. What What in the fuck did you think was going to happen when you fought with him, tried to take his gun, and then took off running? You almost had to know he was going to shoot you. You had to know that. At any rate, so now we have a dead young man who was unarmed when he was shot. That much is true. Uh, but only after unsuccessfully trying to arm himself with the cop's gun. So, from what I understand it, the big, the big, uh, the big fuck you that everybody's talking about is well, this was a racial issue. The cop was white, the the, the thief was black, and therefore the cop felt okay to shoot him. Does it not occur to anybody? that, first of all, this cop, what is he, I don't know how old he is, he can't be very old, but what if this cop has got, he's got all this adrenaline pumping through him after having had a fight with this kid, his brain is working like anybody's brain works in a fight, put this person down, and yeah, he made a poor snap decision. My opinion is it didn't have shit to do with race. It had to do with testosterone. Male versus male testosterone. First of all, 
Michael Brown decided to call him out, a, a symbol of authority, a person of authority. This thief calls him out, starts calling him names, starts insulting him, and then starts to fight him. And then starts to get his gun, assumedly to kill him. So yes, uh, getting shot by the very person you just tried to assumedly shoot, not a big stretch of the imagination that that might happen. Again, it should not have happened. The cop should have just tased him at the outset, said we're done, and locked him into the car, and you're good to go. My question is this. Oh, good people of Ferguson, if any of you see this, if the cop had been black that shot Mr. Brown, would you still have flipped out and started rioting and started looting and destroying your neighborhood? I think the answer is yes, and I'll tell you why. I don't think that probably nine-tenths of you started to do what you did. By that I mean started looting, started rioting, started tearing shit up out of racial injustice or racial frustration. I think you did what you did because it was an opportunity, it was a chance for you to go crazy and tear shit up and act like a bunch of dumbasses without worry of repercussion. We're rioting, what are they going to do? Are they going to arrest us all? No. No, obviously then they can't do that. They can try, but they're not going to be able to do it. You know that. You know that if it's a riot situation, you can do pretty much whatever you want to. You can break into someone's business that they've worked hard their entire lives to maintain. Steal all the shit that was in their store. Why? Because you fucking want it. And because then, otherwise you wouldn't be able to afford to buy what's in that fucking TV store. Or in that jewelry store. Or in that electronic store. So it's a chance for you to get shit for free that you couldn't normally afford. That's all it is. That's why you're fucking rioting. And you're doing it because you know you can fucking get away with it. It's the same reason you're assaulting these reporters who are there to cover the scene. It's the same reason uh, these white reporters are getting threatened, getting their lives threatened. They've not, they haven't done shit to you. They haven't done a goddamn thing to you. All they've done is show up there to try to cover it. But no, you think it's you think it's a good idea to fucking hurt them. That makes you that makes you less than a person. Makes you less than a person. Great training, wow.